These shows are a little strange, or a little weird, or a little odd, these, uh, these shows uh, that we're doing uh, before our writers return. And uh, one of the things that's interesting about the shows is uh, I think the audience, for the first time, is getting a real sort of sneak peek behind the scenes at our show. Uh, they're learning a lot about me and my sordid personal life. They're learning a lot about the people that work here. And uh, specifically, uh, we thought maybe it's a good idea to introduce you occasionally to someone uh, that's been working here for a long time at Late Night with Conan O'Brien, letting you get to know them. Uh, so we had this idea, and we started with uh, a person who's been working for me for, almost, I think, since almost the beginning. Is that right, Jeff? Uh, his name's Jordan Schlansky, and uh, he's an associate producer on the show. And for some reason, we just thought Jordan's an interesting guy. It might be worth talking to him and letting America get to know Jordan Slansky. Uh, and so uh, the other day, I grabbed a camera, and I just sat down, and I talked with Jordan and tried to learn a little bit about what makes him tick. So enjoy this brief look at a guy who works on our show, associate producer Jordan Slansky. I'm sitting here with Jordan Slansky. Uh, Jordan? Oh. <laughs> I didn't go to shake your Pleasure. hand. I just gestured to you. How very presumptuous of you. You're fired. Jordan, what's your title on Late Night? I'm the associate producer. Uh, what time do you show up in the morning? Usually 11 o'clock. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? I have a protein shake for breakfast, uh, and then I follow that with a vegetable drink. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. You have a, a protein drink? Correct. What, what is the protein drink? Uh, it is Cytogainer. Uh, it is a balance of protein and carbs with a little bit of fat. Uh, just a little bit to get the metabolism going. I and think the correct pronunciation is Saito Gainer. <laughs> anyway, it has a little bit of fat mixed in there? Just a little bit of fat. Why do you want a little fat? You want to balance out protein and carbs. Fat is actually good. Most fat is uh, beneficial in Mediterranean countries. Yeah, but we're in New York City. True. <laughs> so call me when you're in the Mediterranean, and I'll air freight you some fat, Chapa. I understand you're also quite handy with a bullwhip. I do know how to crack a bullwhip. All right. We, uh, we actually saw some footage of you that was taken several years ago. This is footage you shot yourself. Correct. Of uh, you practicing with the bullwhip. That's right. How many people have you shown that footage to? A few people here in the office. And what'd they think? They were very impressed. Jordan's a wine enthusiast. Uh, Jordan, you're going to demonstrate some of your wine ability and knowledge here. What do we have? In order to really uh, smell its full bouquet, you want to swirl it as you are to incorporate some air into it because wine changes as it reacts with air. So you smell that and determine if you can smell anything. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it. Maybe you smell a fruit, maybe you smell dirt. Oh, I smell a fruit all right. <laughs> You feel that you smelled it adequately, you can try sipping it, and when it's in your mouth, just try Oh, I've a smelled bit. a fruit adequately. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, rock band, or one of your favorite rock bands of all time? My favorite rock band would have to be Rush. What's, I'm thinking, what's a Rush song? Their most famous song is Tom Sawyer. Their lead singer, Getty Lee, is kind of a funny voice, doesn't he? He has an unusual voice. But that's pleasing to you? Um, it, uh, it doesn't annoy me. What's that song? Handsome vein, I hear so fond of seen die, hand I boo. Isn't that one of their songs? No. Handsome vein, I hear so fond of seen die, hand I boo. Isn't that one of their songs? I can't help you. There's no song. Like what, that. besides Tom Sawyer, what is there? What's the uh, one? that whole album is pretty famous. Limelight. No, tell me some what? Limelight. How does that one go? Living on a lighted stage approaches the unreal. That's the one I'm singing. Living on the lighted stage, approaching the unreal. I sang it correctly, and you didn't. <laughs> so where are you going to work tomorrow? <laughs> this is uh, Jordan Schlansky's office. Jordan, I have to say, there's a bit of a contradiction. You yourself, clean, neat, fit, in control. Your office is a madman's den. You've got bags of just... Bags of oranges. What's going on here? What's What's... Just random bags of oranges lying around. Those are clementines. Honey nut Cheerios. Suddenly, I don't believe your protein shake every morning. It's, it's a whole grain cereal. I have that as a midday snack. It's not a serious cereal. It's got a bumblebee pouring honey onto it. It's got a relatively low sugar content, and it's made with whole grains. What's the problem? Explain the bumblebee. It's got a cartoon bumblebee on the cover. How can you take this seriously as a food Just source? Just because it appeals to children doesn't exclude me from enjoying it. <laughs> Junk everywhere. Tooth. 
and gum tonic? What's this all about? Oh, that's a mouthwash. Yeah, this is like something they would have sold off the back of a wagon in 1855. Why does that mean it's bad? What's this? There's food in there. What kind of food? Various kinds. Do you want to tell me before I open it? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. S'mores Pop-Tarts. What happened to body fat ratio? I only eat Mediterranean food. From what region of the Mediterranean? Any s'mores Pop-Tarts? It's important to keep your metabolism going throughout the day. Why do you keep these in a closed barrel? Are you shamed? Is this for your shame eating? When you go into a shame spiral, do you lift off the barrel, stick your head in here, and just start chomping, chomping away on Pop-Tarts? What wine would you recommend for these smooth Pop-Tarts? Um, I would recommend uh, possibly a Shiraz. Um, even a Bordeaux. Bordeaux would be good. Anything from uh, Napa. Mm -hmm. Something with some sweetness in it, preferably. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's got chocolate, which goes very well with a lot of red wines. You're getting crumbs on me. How did you get interested in ballroom dancing? I, um, I had an embarrassing experience in France. Uh, two Danish models approached me in a club and asked me to dance. I didn't know how. I tried anyway. So and... you murdered them. <laughs> <laughs> what else could you do? Those bitches had to die. So we'll put on the music. Interlock hands and spin. Give me your other hand. Over. Throw you out. Very good. Keep going. So just, just. Maintain control. I've never hated the writer's strike more. Thank you very much. I love that you stood and basked in the limelight. Isn't that one of your Rush songs? Exactly. Uh, Jordan, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Calmest cucumber I've ever talked to. Uh, Jordan, uh, that was... <laughs> incredible. I don't know how you do it. You're an incredible person to me, Jordan. You're real. I can't believe you're real. Uh... <laughs> You know, uh, that remote, I really enjoyed uh, shooting that and spending that time with you. We thought it might be a little long, so we, we, we edited it to, to that length. Uh, there was this uh, a portion that we cut out of it, and um, uh, now I think we just have to show it. I think people should see this. I think it deserves to be seen. So uh, take, take a quick look at this uh, portion, which was edited out. This is all real of uh, my discussion with Jordan Slansky. So you think I'm a good boss? Yes. You think I'm a fair boss? Yes. Uh, and occasionally when I crack down on people, it's probably because I have to. Yes, you are a leader. <laughs> you just make me laugh sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like other people. <laughs> you know, the 
shake in the bullwhip. <laughs> the Vespa. <laughs> uh, uh, rush. Oh, man. Uh, you bring... <laughs> it brings so much joy to me. All right, we're going to take a little break. Jordan Slash here. <laughs> man, we'll take a break when we come back doing it again. Ice Cube is with us. We'll see you next time.